I know this wasn't exactly the kind of wedding that you had envisioned, that you had planned at one time. You'd envisioned having a lot more family and friends together with you. Adam, I think I've known you and your family since you had just finished fourth grade. I had you, of course, as a confirmation student. We went on youth group trips together. Even if it rains, you still look amazing. You're the best part of the world. You know that? It looks like 5 o'clock again, but it's always the same. Supposed to stop at 5 o'clock? But on the year that we did uh, the unit on the Bible, I'm pretty sure that we started with the creation stories of Genesis. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And then God decides to make a place for Adam to live. And so now the sculptor becomes the gardener. And then the anesthetist becomes the surgeon and takes out a rib and forms a partner for him. The partner is to be by his side. That's why God takes it out of the side. He also lets out this cry of joy. And he says, this at last is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bones. She shall be called woman. I'm so ready to start this new chapter of our lives together and cannot imagine life without you. I love you more than words can even say and I'm beyond excited for what the future has in store for us. And it's going to be so fun. <laughs> Would you like to begin your marriage with a kiss? Uh, yeah. <laughs> And it is a privilege for me to present you Adam in the Cold Cod. God looked at everything he made and he found it very good. Cause you are the best part of me. The side I hope everyone sees. The air that I breathe on this in peace wasn't complete before you. Cause you are, you are the best part.